Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, we will be learning some of the best practices while performing mobile testing. Before proceeding further, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then definitely click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing so let us move on to understand what are those best practices which you should follow during performing mobile testing are also called as a mobile app testing the first best practices you should follow is select the right set of devices to perform your mobile testing basically you should clearly understand who is using your mobile app which country people are using mobile apps what is the age of the people who are going to use the mobile app and different user information should be known demographic location should be known what kind of operating system of the mobile being used based on the user let's say if you think about united states then most of the people use apple os if you think about indian end users then android is the most probable choice in india hence you should understand who is going to use your mobile app if it is an indian user then most of your test cases should be concentrating on majorly into android and if you are concentrating on the western countries like us uk right then preferably preferably the most test cases would be executed on ios again under ios there are various mobile options are there tablets right various de device combinations and sizes of the screen size of the device etc hence it is always we should do market assessment market research to understand what kind of devices being really used by the end customer or end user that would define a proper device combinations for your mobile app testing that is the number one best practices you should always follow the number two is always test scope you should write in detail you should not just write the test scope in a way you should clearly articulate you should clearly write what you are going to test what is the expectation out of the your testing scope the number three is always testing early is a very great concept because if you are going to test late in the game then the cost of fixing would also be increases exponentially hence it is always start early in the game hence now most projects being run in an agile fashion where it would get early on sprint on sprint basis itself hence it is always it is being recommended to test the mobile app as early as possible the fourth one is you should always try to test on the real, real mobile devices at least to, to the certain extent because there are various software has come up with emulators simulators uh, where you can deploy your mobile app and it will try to simulate or emulate the mobile app and uh, devices uh, and where you can test your uh, functionalities but at least i recommend at least use major percentage of the devices which are real one if you are going to test it on real one then only you will get an idea how the real application in the real devices are going to behave and what is the real challenges which your end customer is going to face hence it is always recommended to use as much as real devices when you are testing your mobile app the fifth one is you should also concentrate on various kinds of functional testing when you are performing your mobile app testing including the usability one the usability factor is very crucial these days and everybody everyone wants your mobile app should be as usable as much as usable possible right 
Hence, you should always follow all the usability guidelines when you are developing your mobile app. The sixth best practice is you should not just concentrate on the functional testing of your mobile app, you should also focus on so performance testing is very crucial and security testing as well. If you are not planned to perform security and performance testing, then you should definitely test it for mobile apps, the performance testing and security testing, which are very crucial in nature. And those are very important for any mobile app testing because if your app is not working as expected, then nobody is going to buy your mobile app, right? your mobile app should be as much as uh, performing very good in terms of uh, whatever the kind of uh, the devices or hardware for uh, which is available in the devices. It is very crucial. You should have the right set of uh, performance testing and also you should ensure that right set of security testing, you should test it. That would help uh, to uh, hackers not to hack your mobile app then later they steal the personal information. Then the seventh important best practice is automating the mobile app testing. So automation is a, one of the best place. You should bring in a lot of investment and you should bring a lot of uh, energy processes, everything uh, because the mobile app being tested across various combinations of devices, various co combinations of operating systems, hence it is very important. Then the eighth one is battery consumption test. So this is very crucial test these days because when your app making a lot of processing and using the CPU, then it is start consuming lot of uh, battery consumptions. Hence, you should ensure that whatever the test you are going to perform, you should not cause lot of drainage of battery when uh, you are accessing a mobile app. Hence, you should be very clear, you should be very clear uh, doing the all the kinds of testing with a different set of uh, network conditions, with a uh, different set of uh, Wi-Fi conditions, right? With a different set uh, set of accessing uh, uh, everything, we should test to ensure that battery is not getting dra uh, drained uh, with your test. And the last but not the least one is internationalization. Since your app is being used across the world and there are chances that anybody can access your app from anywhere. Hence, you should target to the different languages, different currencies, right? It is always uh, put a uh, uh, proper planning uh, in order to certify your product where the different uh, uh, internationalization uh, practices. I hope uh, you're able to get hold of all these nine important best practices that you would like to understand when you're performing a mobile app testing. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.